Coach Chris Hawkins has won 61 games in three seasons at Crispus Attics, including the 2017 state championship. A lot of people look at coaching as just a way of seeing how many rings or wins a coach has, what's the record, but I feel like it's more than that. It's helping a, a, a young man become a better person and making them a man to what they're going to be on later on in life because you never know what someone's going through when they get back home. That potential powerful influence is the reason behind a first-year program for all IPS coaches called Coaching Boys Into Men. Repeat after me, I deserve love and happiness. The Domestic Violence Network trains coaches to talk to their players about topics like personal responsibility, respectful behavior, relationship abuse, insulting language, and consent. As teenagers, they're starting to date or, or are already dating, and if um, they haven't learned those healthy, safe relationship skills, then perhaps they could be perpetrating it themselves, or maybe they're a victim of it. It's happened to family members before. I've seen it happen to people just social media. You know, it, it hurts me, you know, it's, to see it going on in today's age, you know, and it's happening a lot. The program acknowledges the role that coaches play as mentors to their student athletes, and the impact they have that goes far beyond the court. Questions and discussion points. Coach Hawkins weaves discussions about healthy relationships into regular team activities. You try to meet them where they're comfortable at because I think when they're comfortable that's when they're uh, easy to be laid back, respond and, and you know speak truthfully and honestly uh, you know what they're going through and then how they want to you know have those things change or what they need help on. Crispus Attic's basketball season could end this weekend in the sectionals, but Coach Hawkins tries to pass on skills to last a lifetime. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And a report on Indiana Dean shows most have actually experienced some kind of dating violence. In fact, there are several warning signs you want to look out for. If a boyfriend or girlfriend is checking your phone or even your social media without permission, that's a big red flag. Also, you want to look out for signs of extreme jealousy and if they try to isolate you from friends or even family. Now, there's a 24-hour resource for any teen if you're looking for help. It's called loveisrespect.org. We have a link to it on our website at wthr.com. Just go to our homepage. Well, we've got a